Hey what's up YouTube, this is Watch Junkie. Today I'm going to review that watch. Quick wrist check. I'm wearing my Casio Royale on a 22mm NATO strap with adapters. Now to this guy. This is a Casio MTP SW320D. And let's talk about the watch. This is an analog quartz pilot watch equipped with 316L stainless steel case construction, a slide rule bidirectional rotating internal bezel. The crown for the bezel is on the 8 o'clock position. Flat mineral crystal. Unsigned push pull crown with crown guard. And a snap off case back. It's running on a Casio Quartz module number 5566. Same movement on the MTD 1086 I previously reviewed. Which has a day date and 24 hour complications with a 3 ticks per second sweeping second hand. It's rated 50 meters water resist. It has a stainless steel folded links bracelet with hollow end links and a signed push release scissor clasp. The dial is finished in matte black, applied chrome finished hour indices filled with loom, and everything else is printed. The hands are skeletonized and polished arrow hour and minute hands and a polished arrow red tipped second hand. The subdial 3 o'clock is the date, 24 hour on the 6 o'clock subdial, and the day of the week on the 9 o'clock subdial. All subdial hands are polished. For the finishing, polished bezel, top side of the lugs are brushed, side and crowns are polished, back side and the case back are brushed with engraved information on the case back. The bracelet is brushed on top, polished center links edges, polished on the sides, clasp is brushed on top, polished on the sides. For the dimensions, we have a 45mm case diameter, lug to lug is 52mm, thickness is 11mm, and a 22mm lug opening. This bracelet is 22mm, tapers to 20, back up to 22 on the clasp. Now let's check the loom and let's charge it up. All the indices, hour, minute, and second hands are loomed. No loom on the subdial hands. Since this is a Casio loom, you really can't expect more. The loom is just weak as expected. And giving you a perspective on how it sits on a 6.5 inch wrist. It wears big. 45mm case diameter and a 52mm lug to lug is just way too big for me. I think even for a 7 inch wrist, this watch will wear pretty darn big. As for the weight, it's not that heavy. The dial is quite busy and looks big because of the internal bezel. But I like the sweeping second hand. Overall, it's an affordable pilot watch. I paid 70 bucks for this guy. Unfortunately, I'm not keeping this for long. But if you have a big wrist and looking for an affordable pilot watch with slide rule bezel, this watch might just fit in. So there you have it, the Casio MTP SW320D. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Big thanks to all of my subscribers, much appreciated and means a lot for the channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, just click on the subscribe button, it'll help the channel grow. You can also follow me on Instagram at watchjunkie99. And if you have any questions or any suggestions, just leave a comment down below. Until then, this is Watch Junkie saying, keep watching, stay safe, bye bye now.